Good day learners! Today, our lesson is about problem solving involving addition and subtraction of fractions with or without regrouping. Remember, it is easy to solve a problem if you have steps to follow and keyword or words that could lead you to one operation. Now, let us proceed with the keywords that used in math problems. Here are the keywords used in math problems. For addition, we have added to, additional, altogether, both, combined, how many, in all, increased by, more than, plus, some, together, total, and total of. And for subtraction, we have change for money problems, decrease by, difference, difference of, fewer, fewer than, how many more, how much more, left, are left, have left, less, less than, more than, remain, and subtract. Here are the steps in solving problems. We will use UPS. When we say UPS, U stands for understand. And under understand, we have to know the questions in the problem or what is being asked in the problem. Second is what are the given facts. Those are the numbers or fractions that we need to solve the problem. Second, plan. We need to know the operations to be used to solve the problem. And last, our solution. Now, learners, let us proceed to examples. Example number one. It took Migs five-thirds of an hour to complete his math homework on Monday. Three fourths of an hour on Tuesday, and five sixths of an hour on Wednesday. How many hours did he take to complete his homework altogether? Now, learners, let us follow the steps. The first one is Q, which stands for understand, and under that is what is asked. What do you think is the question, the problem? That's right. How many hours did he take to complete his homework altogether? The next one is what are the given facts? What do you think are the number or fractions that we need to solve the problem? Those are 5 3rd, 3 4th, and 5 6th. Next, P, which stands for plan. What do you think is the operation to be used? Let's go back to the question. How many hours did he take to complete his homework altogether? What do you think is the keyword? That's right, altogether. Altogether means we need to use addition. So, let us proceed to solution. The number sentence is 5 3rd plus 3 4th plus 5 6 is equal to n. Since our denominator are different, we need to find the LC. So, we will get 3, 4, 6 and we will multiply it to the counting number. Let us start with 2. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12, and so on. So now, as you can see, the LCD or the least common denominator is 12. So we will use 12 as the common denominator. So to get the numerator, we will divide the LCD to the original denominator and multiply to the numerator. 12 divided by 3 
is 4 times 5 is 20. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3, 9. 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 5, 10. So now let us add 20 plus 9 plus 10 is equal to 39. Then we will copy the denominator 12. As you can see, our answer is an improper fraction. So what are we going to do to transform an improper to mixed number? To transform the improper fraction to mixed number, we need to divide 39 by 12. 39 divided by 12. How many 12 are there in 39? That's right, 3. 3 times 12, 36. 39 minus 36, 3. Now, the quotient is the whole number, and the remainder is the numerator. So, we will write it as 3 and 3 12. As you can see, the fraction 3 12 is not in simplest form or lowest term. So we will get the lowest term or we will reduce 3 12 into lowest term. And that is 3 and 1 fourth. Why? Because the GCF of 3 and 12 is 3. If you divide 3 by 3, we will get 1. If you divide 12 by 3, we will get 4. So the final answer is 3 and 1 fourth. It took Migs 3 and 1 fourth hours to complete his homework. Now let us proceed to second example. Example number 2. Cruz family drove their car for 5 and 5 six days to reach their vacation home and then drove for 6 and 1 six days to return home. How much longer did it take them to drive home? So now let us follow again the steps in solving the problem. Again, we will follow the steps in solving the problem. First, you understand what is asked. And that is how much longer did it take them to drive home. The next one, what are the given facts? And those are 5 and 5 6, 6 and 1 6. P. Plan. What operation to be used? Now let us go back to the question. How much longer did it take them to drive home? The keyword here is how much longer. How much longer or how much more? Meaning, we need to use subtraction. Now, let us move to the solution. Learners, here is the solution. The number sentence is 6 and 1 6 minus 5 and 5 6 is equal to n. As you can see, the given fractions are similar. So, the rules in adding or subtracting similar fractions is just add or subtract the numerator. But here, the minuend is less than the subtrahend. So what are we going to do? That's right. We will borrow 1 from 6. We will transform the borrowed 1 from 6 to a fraction, which will give us 6 over 6. Why do we use 6? Because the denominator is 6. It is easy to add fractions having the same denominators. Now let us add 5 plus 6 over 6 plus 1 6 is equal to 5 and 7 6. Now let us subtract 5 and 5 6 from 5 and 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. 
back to the denominator, which is 6. 5 minus 7 will give us 0. So the answer is 2 6. But 2 6 is not in those terms. So we will reduce 2 6 into lowest term. So the GCF of 2 and 6 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. The final answer is 1 third. Cruz family took 1 third more days to try both. Now let us move to our last example. Example number 3. Carlos bought 2 and 2 third kilograms of grapes. He ate 3 fourths kilogram and gave 1 half kilogram to his sister. How many kilograms of grapes were left to Carlos? Now let us start with what is asked. And that is how many kilograms of grapes were left to Carlos? What are the given facts? And those are 2 and 2 thirds, 3 fourths, 1 half. Plan what operation to be used. As you can see, the keyword in our question is left, meaning we need to subtract. Here, we need to get first the total creeps or the total kilogram that Carlos ate and given to his sister. So now, the operations are addition and subtraction. Now, solution. The number sentence is 2 and 2 thirds minus the quantity of 3 fourths plus 1 half is equal to n. So we need to get first the total of 3 fourths and 1 half. So let us use the butterfly method. 3 times 2, 6. 1 times 4, 4. And 4 times 2, it will give us 8. And that is the common denominator. Now, let us subtract. But here, the chapter hand is an improper fraction. So let us transform first 10 over 8 into mixed number. So the mixed number of 10 over 8 is 1 and 2. So, so now let us get the LCD of 8 using the butterfly. So we will separate 2 and 1. To get the LCD, let us multiply the denominator. 3 times 8, 24. 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 3 is 6. We can now subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1. 16 minus 6 is 10. Then copy the denominator. But 10 over 24 is not a lowest term, so we will reduce 10 over 24 into lowest term. The GCF of 10 and 24 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Then copy the whole number 1. So the final answer is 1 and 5 over 12. Carlos left with 1 and 512 kilograms of grapes. So learners, please check the description box below to see the links of some related visual lessons. That's all. Thank you and goodbye.